Juliana Chesterfield. I took part in the Rwanda program in 2009 while I was studying business at Western. And I'm currently working in business strategy in the healthcare industry. One skill that's really important in my career today that definitely was cultivated through the Rwanda experience was my sense of adaptability and agility. Being in Rwanda put us in some interesting context, something that was very new and forced me to really cultivate that sense of agility. We worked on a project through our internship at the National University of Rwanda, where we worked with student records and trying to reconstruct the archives architecture at the university. The best thing that I learned through my experience in the Rwanda program was getting comfortable being uncomfortable. Being thrown into different environments, different contexts around new people with different languages really encouraged me to get comfortable being outside my comfort zone. And that is something that has continued to reap benefits uh, throughout my entire life since the program. My favorite memory during my time in Rwanda was getting up close and personal with gorillas. Uh, we got to go trekking up in a volcano park with gorillas and that was really cool to get to get up close to the families and interact with the baby gorillas. Uh, it was a bit scary being around those big silverbacks, but definitely a highlight of the program and a memory I will always cherish. Hi, my name is Victoria Kagan and I graduated from the Richards Ivy School of Business in 2011. In 2009, I had the privilege of being one of the first three students to go to Rwanda under Dr. Henri Boyi's new program at the time. During my time there, I worked at the National University and was responsible for leading an initiative to clear a degree distribution backlog that had accumulated in the registrar's office since the genocide. I lived in a local community close by the university. My experience in Rwanda is hard to capture in words and I still feel overwhelmed by how much I learned and developed in such a short period of time. My most impactful experiences were everyday interactions with people who had experienced one of the most inhumane and horrible events in human history. I remember visiting a museum with a student from the university and in a room full of skeletons, he paused and he quietly said, I haven't found my mom and dad yet, but I'm pretty sure they're in here. I remember having dinner with a family in the community and they were telling me that one of their neighbors who was, that, who was currently in prison was going to be released shortly. This particular member had directly slaughtered some members of the family, yet this family was still preparing to welcome him back with a basket of baked goods, by far the greatest act of forgiveness I have ever witnessed. I remember a mother and her children waiting outside my home in the morning to rub my skin for good luck. And I knew then that I wanted to, to work toward building a world where my skin wasn't luckier than anyone else's, a world where our differences made us stronger, not weaker, and a world where everyone takes accountability for humanity. This experience has, has contributed substantially to an accelerated leadership career. Today, I am the Assistant Vice President of Strategy and Planning Office of the President for Sun Life Canada. Simply put, I am the Chief of Staff to our Canadian President. Leading teams, embracing diversity, showing empathy, and bringing out the best in those around me have been critical to my success. In my role today, I use my learnings from Rwanda every day to drive meaningful change across the organization. These are experiences that can't be manufactured. Congratulations to Professor Henri Boyi for the great work him and his team are doing to keep this initiative alive and to bring this unparalleled experience to you.